101. The following question is taken from a chemistry advanced placement examination and is used with the permission of the educational testing service. Solve the following problem, and then they give us this balanced equation. In a saturated solution of MgF2 at 18 degrees Celsius, the concentration of Mg2 plus is 1.21 times 10 to the negative third molarity. The equilibrium is represented by the preceding equation. Then we're at letter D. Now at 27 degrees Celsius, the concentration of Mg2 plus in a saturated solution of MgF2 is 1.17 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Is the dissolving of MgF2 in water an endothermic or an exothermic process? And give an explanation to support your conclusion. Okay, so let's see what went on here. First things first is that they told us that at 18 degrees Celsius, so maybe I'll say, okay, actually, actually I'll put this in blue. So we'll say, okay, at 18 degrees Celsius, the Mg2 plus concentration was 1.21 times 10 to the negative third molarity. But then once we raised the temperature, we're increasing the temperature, 18 is lower than 27, right? We're increasing temperature. The concentration of Mg2 plus is now 1.17 times 10 to the negative three molarity. Okay, so now let's make a relationship, right? From 18 to 27, the temperature increased. Okay, so as temperature increased, what happened to that concentration of Mg2 plus? Well, usually we can get away with just looking at the exponent, but since for both of them, they're both times 10 to the negative three, I do have to look at my actual numbers. So I have 1.21 versus 1.27. The higher number is obviously the higher number and the lower one, you got it, is, is the lower one. So I went from 1.21 to 1.17. So I dropped my amount, decreased, okay. So now if I just maybe bring this out a little bit more and oopsie, there goes, there goes half the F. Let's see. Oh boy. There it goes. Hold on. I'm going to get it this time. Okay. Beautiful. So now if we're decreasing the Mg2 plus concentration as temperature increases, are we basically which reaction or which way are we favoring? Are we favoring going from left to right as temperature increases or as we're going from right to left. Keep in mind that the amount dropped. So if I go this way, that means I'm gonna make more of it. But if you're losing, you have to favor the other direction. So as temperature increases, going in the reverse direction is favored. Okay, so we're getting there. Now, with this information, we have to figure out whether it's endothermic or exothermic. So the next thing we have to do is figure out where is the heat? Now there's two options. The heat could be on the product side. And just know that anytime that the heat is on the product side, this is a exothermic reaction. But at the same time, the heat could literally be on the right side. Sorry, the left side. And anytime the heat is on the left side of an equation, that's always endothermic. You're absorbing heat. So now which one is it? Well, this goes by Le Chatelier's. Remember, Le Chatelier's principle, just like in real life, right? As temperature increases, Le Chatelier said, as temperature increases and you get really, 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 really hot, you will go away from the heat, right? If it's a really hot day, I don't know about you, but I am not going outside. <laughs> I'm staying inside doing videos. But that's what Le Chatelier also noticed, that if the temperature increases, you're always going away from the heat, literally from the word heat. So if we know, and maybe I'll just drop this down one more time, and once again, I didn't learn my lesson. There we go, okay. So if we are favoring this side and we are running towards the left side 
I am going away from my heat. So if I'm going this way, the heat has to be on this side because I'm going away from it. And since the heat is on this side, just like we said, that's exothermic. That's an exothermic reaction. Whoop, whoop. And give an explanation to support your conclusion. Basically everything that we just said. Le Chatelier's, as temperature increases, you go away from the heat. And there you go. Okay, so I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope to be talking to you in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Okay, bye-bye.